I welcome you back. Let me get comfy. I'm sure you're comfy. I'm gonna get comfy. Okay, we're all comfy. Great. Okay, this video is something I think about a lot, but I've in my head. I have never made a video about it, which is weird because I usually make videos about lots of things that I think of. So here it is. So sorry, that's my phone because I need it to remember something. I'm bad at remembering, so I kept my phone and I write in the notes and anyway. Anyway, so this is about when you see an amazing movie for the first time, like um, you watch a movie that's great or that now is one of your favourite movies and yeah, you remember back to the first time you saw that movie and like the first time you see it will never be, you'll never have the same experience because the first time you see it you don't know what's going to happen, you're more in shock, you're more like wow and you go away from it feeling something that you can't feel again, okay? So that's the first time you watch a great movie. For example, I have some examples of which I haven't forgotten all but I have written down. Uh, one big example for me this year especially is The Shining. I had never ever seen The Shining and I watched it this year and I honestly was like, wow. Uh, that film amazed me. It was made so well. I want to do a video talking about it. Like, I could not believe... I mean, I've heard a lot of good things about The Shining. Come on, everyone's seen The Shining. Everyone loves it. Body, body, well. And I was like, oh, I didn't really care for it. I didn't think a lot of it. I was like, oh, I'm going to watch The Shining because I knew it was so well... You know, it was before Halloween, it was maybe September, I think. Um, and I was like, you know, I'll watch The Shining, I'll see what it's all about. And I just couldn't believe it. I was just like, oh. And it was so amazing that first time I watched that movie, because I didn't know a lot about it. I try not to know a lot about films before I go into them, so I have such good first experiences from things. I was amazed. Um, so The Shining is one that, again, I was like, whoa, when I finished. Another film that I watched and was like, wow, when I finished was Silence of the Lambs. That is a film that I didn't think I'd be like, whoa, when I finished it. But the whole experience of watching that film I loved. Like, it was so good and it was a while ago now I've watched it, but <clears throat> it is such a good movie and I didn't think it was going to be that good. And I was like, God, this is like, I just wanted more of the film. Like, And then I watched Hannibal and I was like, oh, this isn't the same. But um, I loved Silence of the Lambs. I thought that was great. That was a great first watched experience thing. Uh, another one for me, this is really different to the other two, is Into the Wild. Um, I recently watched that, maybe it was last year or this year, I don't know, and wow, the f I literally couldn't, I didn't even feel, I like it when you watch movies for the first time and you don't even feel like you're where you are anymore, like I felt like I was there and I was so into that movie. It was amazing, that is an incredible movie as it is, but like the first time I watched it was so 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 special. I've watched it again since then, I still love it every time, but that first time I remember being like, wow, and so connected with the movie, it was amazing. Yeah, so, there are three recent memories, let's see what else I wrote down. Um, okay. Um, I, I know now. Another movie that I've seen a while ago now, which the first time I watched it, I was like, oh my god, is Shutter Island. One of my favourite movies ever. Not a lot of people talk about it, I absolutely love it. The first time I watched it, my mind was just like, what? I couldn't, I had to watch it again right afterwards, it was insane. Uh, the first few times I watched it, it was amazing. It's still now always amazing, that movie, but the first time was just a crazy, crazy experience because I didn't know what was going to happen. I was like, what? Um, another thing is when you watch a film that you love, like for example, Catching Fire came out, I know I keep going on about it, but I was so excited for that and it lived up to my expectations and the first time I watched it, I've only seen it once, but like I won't forget that I loved it so much that first time and then I'll just carry on loving it every time, yeah. And then I just wanted to mention a few of my classic movies that I love and I remember the first time I saw them. One being Moulin Rouge. As a kid I watched Moulin Rouge the first time when I was 12. No, no, I was less than that. I was in year 6 at primary school because I remember telling my friend and I was like, oh, I think it is, a, it might be 15. I remember I wasn't old enough to watch it and I was like, oh, because my cousins are there older than me. And I was like, oh, to my friend, oh, guess what, you never guess what, I watched Moulin Rouge. And then, like, whatever. And I was in year six. And But, like, I loved that film. And actually, I found out later on in life, my mum actually did skip a few parts. So I didn't watch the whole film. But I fell in love with the whole romantic bit of it, the whole elaborateness of it, the songs, everything. I loved that movie to death. The first time I saw it, I was literally in love with the film. I loved the songs. I just sit and listen to the songs over and over again, like... I don't know, and now I've always got a big love for Baz Luhrmann because of that movie, and now I really like his movies, like, and I think that's why. I watched that when I was younger, and I loved it. That experience was like, wow, this is a cool movie, like, it was so, 
I don't know, it was amazing for me as a kid. I was like, wow. And then we all, as girls, have that moment where we remember when we first fell in love with Jack from Titanic and you'll never not love Leonardo DiCaprio anymore because the first time I watched Titanic and you're small, I was like, I don't know how old I was, I was little, I mean little, and I loved him so much. I still do, I watched Titanic and I literally fall in love with him. He's so, ah, all girls love Jack from Titanic, right? Maybe not, but I love him. And I still now love Leonardo DiCaprio because of that influence as a child. So there are a few amazing movie experiences for me. But another thing that I find really, really interesting is when somebody else says, oh, I've not seen that movie, and it's a movie that you're like, oh my god, I loved it when I first watched it, and you get so excited for them to see it and have the same experience as you did when you first watched it. You're like, oh, they're going to watch it, and it's going to be like this, hopefully, if they like it the same. But, um, yeah, I get really excited, so I don't know. It's just weird. I get excited when I know somebody else is going to have a great movie experience that I've really loved. Weird, I know. So... In this long, long overdrawn story, I want to know what is a movie experience from you that you've watched a movie and you remember the first time being so, so great and you still love the movie. Like, the first time was like, oh my god, amazing. Or if you have a little story of the first time you saw a movie that, like, you know, amazing movie, the first time you saw it, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to know. And then if you've got a movie that you thought was so exciting when you first watched it, then if I might not have seen it, I might be able to have more exciting first movie experiences. So yeah, I don't know, I just I just thought I'd mention my excitement for first time movie watchers. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, I hope you liked the video, I will see you in my next video and it's nearly December! <gasps> okay, I'll see you in December. Ooh. Bye!